Hello everybody, I am Buck WSR Weezer and I'm coming at you today with a repair project on a Mantis rototiller. These little rototillers with a good reputation, they got a small two-stroke engine on top. And yes, I have it here inside my house right now. What's wrong with it? I have no idea. The complaint is, it won't run. So we're going to see if we can diagnose this thing and get it running today. First thing we're going to do is check to see if it has spark. And don't worry, I'm not going to fire this up inside the house. But I'm going to use an inline spark tester. And pull it. Pull the start key. I want to see if it, we get any uh, little light bulb will flash inside there. And I think I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to uh, turn the lights off so we can see that flashing a little bit better. All right. Try to find the way that's... Oh, yeah. You see that? Okay, that's definitely sparking. That's good. Now, that doesn't mean the spark plug itself is good. But at least the ignition module is putting out spark. There's light. All right, I hope that you caught that on film. So I feel good about that. It's not a matter of spark. We probably should test this spark plug because that could be bad. On the off chance that it's bad. So there is another way to test for spark, which also allows us to test the uh, spark plug at the same time and that is to remove the spark plug put it back in its boot and then we'll attempt to we'll pull the starter while grounding the tip of the spark plug onto the engine block and we should see spark down there at the base of the spark plug if all is well but I'm gonna need a helper to do that hang on okay so I didn't get a helper but I think I can do this I don't want to, I've got the lights off so hopefully you will be able to see spark I did dry it and there is spark at the base of the spark plug Let's see if you can actually see it there There you go. Did you see that? Well, it was sparking, and that is confirming for me that the issue we're dealing with here is not spark. I don't think it's compression because with the spark plug in, I could feel a, you know a certain amount of compression. So I'm thinking maybe it's a fuel-related issue, and we'll look into that next. All right, I put a new spark plug in just because, since we were right there, and it's just a good maintenance practice. I'm taking the air cleaner assembly off so I can see the carburetor more clearly. Relax, I'm not gonna fire it up inside. Okay, that's our choke. That's operating pretty well. You know, these two-stroke engines can always be a little bit temperamental. And usually, on the outside of the machine or the engine, there's a detailed starting procedure with six or seven steps. So I'm pressing this primer bulb. It's a dark-colored bulb, and I can't see the fuel actually in there. can't actually un undo that cap either. All right, so I want to make sure we're actually getting fuel. Okay, now I think I can see the uh, fuel inside that carburetor bulb. This is the fuel filter, the pickup tube which, through which the gas is sucked from the tank into the engine. 
I might go ahead and replace that if I can find one just because. I didn't find a new filter so just continue to use this one. I mostly wanted to check to make sure that sometimes these hoses get broken, brittle and break off in there and then you can't, you can't uh, suck fuel into the carburetor which definitely would create a no-run situation. Alright, so I'm going to take this outside. We'll apply the choke. And we'll see if we can... Uh, and we'll see if we can get this guy running. things about this is uh, of course it's running now and I think we just weren't getting any fuel up to the carburetor this cap was on real tight and uh, it did not feel to me like there was uh, maybe maybe this caps not venting properly as it should or actually this is our vent I should check that but it was on real tight and sort of hissed when I opened it almost like there was a vacuum on the uh, tank and uh, once I took the cap off and it was thereby vented we were able to get fuel up into the primer bulb of the carburetor and once we did that of course you just saw that it, it started right up so I don't think there was any serious problem with this the difficult part now is what do, I, what do I explain to the customer what the problem exactly was? Maybe I will make sure this vent is is open and clear because it, it has to be a vented tank for proper fuel flow into the carburetor. Another thing that I think sometimes is people just forget about what the correct starting procedure is. When it's a cold start, you do need to pull the choke. Maybe that wasn't happening. I had very little conversation with the guy. And nor does it matter right now because I think we got it resolved and, and that's the main thing. A lot of times when you pull a tool out of the piece of power equipment out in the springtime, it hasn't run all winter, it's been sitting for a while. So there's a few things that you just got to check because you sometimes don't want to start after sitting. But I think this is good to go and I think the, the gentleman's going to be happy to have his Mantis tiller back. Not a real exciting diagnosis or repair, but thanks for watching and I hope this helps you with your small engine equipment and projects. Bye-bye.